two years ago, we staged a hotly contested big test of the six biggest, most luxurious SUVs on the market. We liked the Lincoln Navigator's powertrain and all-around utility, but we found the luxury lacking. Regardless of anything else that's changed since then, we won't be able to say the same about the all-new 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Whereas the previous generation Navigator was just a refresh of an older truck and limited by the technology baked into the old platform, the new Gator suffers no such restraints. Lincoln has instead gone whole hog in extending its quiet luxury philosophy to its biggest vehicle. Quieting the interior of the new Navigator employs several technologies. First up are laminated windows to keep the noise out, followed by a noise-canceling system to catch what's left. The heating and cooling ducts have been tuned to minimize noise, as have the tires. Anything that gets through all that can be drowned out by the 20-speaker Revel Ultima stereo, but you won't have to crank it up much to get the job done. You'll have a lot of options for what comes out of those speakers. In addition to the usual radio sources, the Navigator also accepts inputs from your phone, either via the USB or Bluetooth, and supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Second row passengers even get their own audio controls. They can also be hooked up with an optional entertainment system, which mounts 10.0-inch screens to the backs of the front seats. The screens can be fed from SD, HDMI, and quick charging 2.5 amp USB ports, or wirelessly from your Android phone, and can stream different content on each screen. If you've got Slingbox at home, you can even watch live TV. The Navigator also comes with an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot if you'd prefer to be online. Whatever your entertainment, you'll enjoy it from the comfort of French stitched leather seats and all rows. Up front, Lincoln's heated and cooled 30-way power seats with memory settings are standard for both occupants and feature massage functions, and the second row can be had as a three-passenger bench or two captain's chairs. Either way, the second row gets its own climate controls, and the seats can tilt and slide even with a baby seat installed for third row access. Back there, the only option is a 60-40 split bench with three seats, but the two sides power recline independently, Lincoln claims best in class second and third row legroom. All three rows have two USB ports and one 12 volt port, plus a fourth in the cargo area, and there's a 110 volt outlet. <laughs>